run and build agroplants.org uh, also known as uh, Fasulus uh, coquineus uh, but I know I know it as a scarlet runner bean or just scarlet bean and so this is vine uh, it's perennial evergreen in warm climate uh, like here it grow as a annual plant uh, it can be also a uh, decius in a very cold winter uh, or annual uh, so it depends the hardiness one will be from 2 to 10 uh, can grow only in the winter in 11a uh, after this I think it's too much hot and this plant requires some cold winter uh, can grow in variety of climate temperate Mediterranean or subtropical if you would like to grow it there is a link below link in the right top side and this is donation for this channel also don't forget to subscribe except this hardiness zone will be from 2 to 10 as I said and 11 possible uh, be aware that uh, in hot climate you need to plant it in a different season the leaves are edible the flowers are edible the pods are edible when they are green and also the beans are edible the, and the roots are edible so as you can see it's really edible plant from A to Z and I would also say that uh, if you want to know how to sow it, so I will have put soon enough another video, so check it in. Okay, so some information that uh, require to know. Okay, so better to have moist soil and trellising. Let it climb on something, if not, it won't be good. Uh, you can start to grow it by seedling seeds or just plant. Uh, I prefer to start from seeds. Uh, you can start to grow it by seeds from home then to take it out after the last frost or in my condition after the last heat wave in the autumn so spring will be the best season it's possible from spring to the summer in temperate climate and uh, if you would say hard in a zone of two so it will be spring only and better to start at home in the winter in the end of the winter uh, planting season in the hot area will be in the autumn uh, or in the end of the summer in uh, inside the house if you have uh, if you use air condition if not it uh, might be very hot and not very good major pests are the larves uh, lava sorry and aphids if you want to grow it you need to know that it's very aggressive plant and it's uh, in the right condition it's a fast growing plant that uh, grow from 2 to 6 meter uh, might be a little bit more uh, but 6 to 20 feet this is the height uh, average amount of water will be the con uh, water condition light uh, if you grow it in a cold area full sun uh, in my area I grow it in half shade I grow it under a tree that it's uh, this use in the winter this is why it's super nice because in the winter it's uh, grow very good and whatever and then it's not have to die in, over the summer so they are still survive here in the summer although I can use it as an annual I just hate to grow annual uh, for something that I gr can grow perennial so I done a little bit just choose the right place for this blooming in the let's say in a hardiness zone of uh, 10b without a crazy summer I can bloom all the year most of the year uh, colder uh, colder climate will be from the spring to the autumn hotter climate will be in the spring uh, yeah, spring autumn and winter of course uh, in the summer it's bloom but uh, not continue to to bear some fruit so you can just eat the flowers the flowers are orange uh, like a butterfly shape uh, main pollination uh, it's uh, bees butterflies and uh, can be also hummingbirds that we don't have here but it's probably lovely you can use the flowers for you know it's edible flowers beverage jam or just eat it raw uh, it's too shy I ate some flowers after this I regret it uh, I'm not good in eating flowers of uh, something that I can get something better in the end uh, if you want to eat the uh, seeds or the pods uh, be aware that the best uh, for the pods when they are young you can cook it too and also uh, the bean when the bean are young can eat in row and when it's uh, let's say uh, mature when it's dry it's uh, cooked also uh, better to put it in overnight water or something like this before you cook it but this is for cooking instructions that it's less my point 
uh, starting uh, to bear some pods after two three months after sowing the edible plants can be uh, edible leaves can be all the year the harvest uh, it's better to choose fully grown leaves not in the summer if you have really hot summer or not in the autumn unless it's new leaf fully grown young leaves this is will be the best uh, you can make it uh, salad when it's, uh, when it's young and after this when it's grow and older it's a uh, not very check that it's not chewy so it need to be you can use it as a quiche soup the roots uh, i never arrived to the situations that i have roots because i grow it mostly as an annual plant this year is the first year that i succeed to maintain it as a perennial uh, so the roots are uh, you can pull it all the year best probably to do it in the winter uh, in a hot area and in the summer in cold uh, sorry in the summer in hotter area in colder area in the winter except this it's super easy and uh, to grow and except this it's super useful you know you can use the leaves the pods the seeds the roots and the flowers of course uh, so why not to grow it i highly recommend to grow it so check it out and grow it that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.